Hey folks, guess what time it is? It's time to start talking about Arctic fever. I'm Sue Davis, and my sidekick this year is... Coco Gary. And we're here to tell you about some of the new things that have been added to the Arctic fever agenda this year. Arctic fever will happen in January, the weekend of Martin Luther King weekend. It's a three-day weekend, so it's almost like a staycation. January 14th and 15th, all day. Back from last year are, are the famous sleigh rides. Everybody loves it. Ken Tice is our provider. He says it's one of the nicest trails that he does a sleigh ride on. Um, that is, is sponsored by Wintergreen. Wintergreen Northern Wear is uh, an apparel manufacturer out of Ely, Minnesota. They're all about winter, and we'll be talking to them later on in the, in the set. We also have ski joring. Ski joring is cross-country skiing with a dog harness to your waist. We have pros, sport class, and novices, and we're going to have an enlarged trail this year. The uh, race trail will be going south, almost to Victoria, and then coming back to, the, to, to our park. Um, we're also adding dog sled races. In addition to our dog sled rides, which will be expanded, last year we gave about 250 rides, and we're hoping to be able to give more this next year. But we'll also be having a race, and Midwest Ski Jorge Club kind of kicks off their race season with the Arctic Fever event, so that's very exciting for us. We also will have our famous Sugar Mountain back, assuming that we have a lot of snow. Public Works, instead of plowing it to the side of the road, picks it all up and makes a snow hill for the kids. And they bring us an awesome snow hill. Um, Public Works will also be building us a, a skating rink here by Eddie Station. Eddie Station was originally designed to be a warming house, so we'll have a, a skating rink. In addition to having some snowshoes and kick sleds available for kids to play with and people to try out, there'll be snowshoes of all sizes. And then, of course, our bonfire where you can wait and have hot chocolate and s'mores while you wait for your ride on the, on the sleigh ride. We're at Manitou Park, and it's the second stop on our Arctic Fever Tour. Manitou Park is one of the great places for families with little children. We've got an owl show, which is very fun to watch. We have human bowling, which is putting the kids on a, uh, a flying saucer and spinning them around and sending them down the ice to kick over a set of bowling pins. That's lots of fun. And there'll also be cocoa and s'mores provided by Cub Foods and Caribou Coffee, as always, at all locations provided by Caribou. We're here at the American Legion Post 259 in Excelsior. Actually, it's in Shorewood. And this year, we have a very special event added to our party. Um, the very first year of Arctic Fever, we had an ice fishing contest. It was very popular. And we have not been able to find anyone to offer one since. It is the one thing that everybody asks for when we ask what else we would like to have added. We've got one this year. I've got John Lodge and Rick Fearland are going to tell you about the ice fishing contest this year. Well, we, our Legion has, our Sportsman's Club has a fishing contest every winter. And this year we moved up to January to coincide with her party. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be out in Minnetonka. We haven't picked a location yet because we're not sure what the weather is going to be like. But uh, it's going to be big. There's going to be at least 200 people there. And plenty of food and a lot of fun, lots of games. Uh, John is my event coordinator, and he's been working feverishly at putting this thing together. So if you'd like to say a few things, John. Well, actually, I don't know how feverishly, but we are, <laughs> we've had at least two years' experience, so we're hoping that uh, we've learned enough to produce a bigger event than we did the last couple of years. But it's more fun than it is catching fish because uh, we have ice bowling and golf, and uh, those have been very popular. There'll be a $10 charge for adults, and the children will fish free. And just as a word of notice, you need to have a fishing license. They'll be available in several places, and we'll have a list of places that you can get a fishing license on your packet for registering for the ice fishing contest. Anything else that we've got? Well, if you buy a ticket for the $10 uh, uh, fishing tournament, you are automatically in, in for prize drawings, and we're going to have a lot of prizes this year. So it's definitely worth coming out for the day. There'll be a lot of prizes. Even for the games, there'll be little prizes. So it'll be worthwhile to come out. And if you're, if you're a snowmobiler, please come out and visit us on the ice because it's one of the few places that you'll be able to bring your snowmobile. You can't obviously you can't be on the trails or in the parks, but it'll be a great opportunity to have a nice party out there. And bring the kids. This is a family event. We're at the South Shore Center now, and we'd like to invite you to this year's Snow Princess Tea. This year it'll be on Sunday, January 15th, from 2 to 3.30. Doors will open at 1 o'clock. And Coco was at the tea last year, so Coco, why don't you tell us what you found out last year? Well, last year I, I sat down at a table with my grandmother and mother, and the entertainment was the Snow Princess. The Snow Princess had the smaller girls sit down around her. They, she asked them their names, told them a story, and sang them a song. And there was a drawing for an American Girl doll last year. And we're going to have a drawing this year, too? Yes, we are. 
This year she's got snowshoes on, and, and as you know, we've got snowshoeing in a couple of our parks. So, um, so Coco, what did you have for, for food and beverage? Well, last year we had for food, like little sandwiches, maybe crack crackers and little cheeses. And for dessert, there was a plate of cookies, there was truffles. And for drinks, you could either have tea, or if you didn't like tea, you could have hot chocolate. To register for the tea, you can go to the website, www.arcticfever.net, and pick on the, on the icon. You can register in person at Sherwood City Hall, or you can register by mail. If you want to come as a group, you need to register as a group, and seating is being assigned based on how, when you register. So registration has started already. If you need information, call City Hall and speak with Twyla. Otherwise, go right to the website. Well, we're here in Excelsior at Petunia's, my favorite shop in Excelsior, and I've got Natalie Hagemal with me. She's with the Excelsior Downtown Business Group and with Mom.com. How are you doing? Good. Hey, Sue. Well, we're here to talk about what's happening in Excelsior this year for Arctic mm -hmm. Fever. We have a lot going on this year, as we usually do. Starting off the day, what kicks it off at 1030 at the Excelsior Library is a puppet show put on by the Friends of the Library, and it's always very well attended. You want to show up early for that because we expect a lot of people to come. Usually about 100 people come for that. Yeah, exactly. And then at the end of the puppet show, we do the awards. We announce the winners of the coloring contest. So. Yeah, and how, how do we enter the coloring contest? Coloring contest, all of the pictures will be available in many of the merchants. You can download them at the Arctic Fever website. They will come in your city newsletter. So if you, um, if you need to get a picture to color, it's at www.arcticfever.net, and you can download it and print it on your own computer. And you bring it in when you turn it into the Excelsior Public Library. Um, they'll give you each child who enters gets a little prize. Here we have the doll. This is the American Girl doll that we're giving away at the tea. And the doll is sponsored by Mom.com. Mom.com, yes, tell us what it's all about. Mom.com is a new website that we launched in the western suburbs here in the Twin Cities. And basically what it is, it's a daily deal site for local families that will connect them with merchants. And additionally, we're going to be adding on content from local bloggers. We're going to add online forums where moms and dads, too, can get online and talk about all kinds of local issues, things going on in the western suburbs. And it's free to sign up. You just go to mom.com, enter your email, your zip code, and make sure you click on Minneapolis suburbs. We're here in YZ in the Wintergreen Northernware store with Kurt Stacy. Hello. The, the owner of the company. So Kurt, tell us about Wintergreen Northernware and how important it is to Minnesota. Well, Wintergreen Northernware has been around for about 25 years, and we make polar expedition wear and also designer clothing. And we've been doing that for um, a, a lot of the individuals that are coming up to Ely, Minnesota, that go dog sledding, ski touring, um, and uh, everything from snowshoeing to downhill um, and snowboarding. The product that we manufacture is um, really kind of a unique scenario because nowadays most every label that you look into uh, on, on garments, they, they really don't have uh, uh, the, the, the product is, is either made somewhere else, and, and if you look inside our wintergreen product, you'll see it's made in the USA. Um, wintergreen Northernware is one of our major sponsors this year. They're new on board, and we really appreciate it. We could not continue to bring Arctic Fever to the community at no charge without sponsorships like this. So I really want to thank you, and okay. hope you, hopefully it's good for you as it's good for us. Well, we're really excited to be part of this community. Uh, we're excited to... Um, really spend a lot of time down here. As I said, uh, we, we grew up here and really we just wanted to get a little bit of Ely down here so that people can see what, uh, what we make and, and what others uh, have enjoyed for many, many years. And being part of this community is, is real important to my wife and myself and my children. Arctic Fever is a project of the cities of Shorewood, Excelsior, and Tonka Bay. And without their cooperation and support, this would not be possible. The public works departments of all of three of those cities build our trails, groom our, our parking lots for all the people that come. They build us ice skating rinks. Um, Shorewood Public Works builds the fantastic Sugar Mountain for the sliding. And um, even mans the bonfires and, and entertains people while they're waiting for their sleigh ride. So we have a, a, a big debt of gratitude to pay to all of our Public Works departments. We also rely on contributions to the Shorewood Parks Foundation and sponsorships by people such as Wintergreen, the Excelsior Legion Post 259, Bolton and Mank, Engineers in Chaska, people who, who want to help the community provide something fun like this for the families and it helps keep it free. 
So if you have an opportunity to go to our website, arcticfever.net, and take a look at who's supporting this event, we would really appreciate it. And if you happen to be in one of those businesses, mention that you saw them. Thank you.